here with Bernard Turlam from HPQ Silicon. Bernard, I just saw some news come out on a pilot plant that uh, you guys are starting on. Can you tell me where that fits in with your company? Uh, well, that's, that's a key process because what, we, what we're doing is transforming quartz to high purity silicon metal and sold grade silicon metal. And the one we announced today is sort of an intermediary pilot plant that we're building. We were working a lab scale machine and had its limitation. We're building a larger 200 ton per year pilot plant, and this one fits right in the middle, so it basically mitigates the risk. Bernard, everybody's concerned about costs in the solar industry, and particularly in the silicon industry. Um, with this most recent news release, do you think we'll see any substantial improvement in your cost structure? We're not going to see substantial improvement. What we're going to be able to do is validate the claims that we're making, which are pretty significant. Um, you know, being able to claim 95% capex reduction costs and you know 80% cost opex reduction costs. I can understand that people are going to be skeptical that the transfer from lab scale to pilot plant is going to be a giant leap. With this um, mid-range process that we're starting, the Gen two. We're now able to do that immediately instead of waiting until we have the Gen 3 process in. So we will start having some some numbers, some rough numbers to be able to, 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 to validate our, our financial plans. We're very confident we'll be able to do it. But. Investors are always looking for an opportunity to make more money. Uh, what, do, what do you see as catalysts for, uh, for the news on uh, HPQ? Um, it's going to be sort of crescendo. It's going to start building up. Um, it's going to build up toward having the pilot plan operational. Uh, this one and the second one. Um, what what this press release interject is the fact that our first lab scale machine has reached its maximum capacity. So we we were sort of limited in the purity the purity level we were seeking, but we you know we learned a lot from the first machine. We 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 anticipate that we will be able to to be much more in line toward making solar grade silicon metal. But what we've discovered is the material we make is very unique and will also make a big difference in the solar industries, even just so it, it, just even if we continue on the, on the lines we are in. But we're very confident we'll be in making solar grade silicon metal with, the, with this new Gen 2 machine. So why should someone own the stock now? And how long should they expect before uh, it gets exciting? Ah, it's a tough question to answer. Well, why, why buy it now? Because if, if you if you look at the potential of the store, um, it's massive. Um, it, it, you have to remember that we're a resource company. As a resource company, what we what we have is resources quartz. Now, quartz is a raw ingredient to make the solar grade silicon metal, but there's many um, intermediary and then that's the set. Raw quartz business is a very low value business. It's you know it's only 500, 300 to five hundred million dollars a year market for the raw quartz using silicon metal. Once it's transformed to silicon metal, that becomes about a five point five million dollars a year business. All right, fifteen percent of that can, can be used in the solar grade silicon business industry, which is then transformed into what's known as solar grade silicon metal, another six billion dollar a year business or five billion dollar a year business. The key point, the biggest leg up. It's a transformation from that material all the way to the solar cell. That becomes a $35 billion a year business. Now, what's fascinating is that all the cost reduction that have occurred in the solar industries have happened from past the step of producing the solar grade silicon metal all the way to making the solar cell. And that those are off-the-shelf technologies, off-the-shelf process. What we are developing is unique. Nobody's doing this, and nobody has been attacking that side of the business. So it will be relatively easy for us to combine these two equations into one and go all the way up to the $35 billion a year market. So this is but that's eventually becoming time. So Bernard, why is this a unique opportunity for an investor to get involved in the, uh, in the rapidly expanding solar industry? Lithium market is barely a $1 billion a year industry, and then there's 100 players. Solar grade silicon metals are $5 billion, going $35 billion, and uh, there's tons of players, and there's only one player that's us. You can't, you can't find another player publicly distributed space that's in, 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 our, in our space. So I'm just comparing ourselves to the competitor, which is lithium. Bernard, thank you very much. You painted a great picture of why somebody should be looking as an investor at HPQ. I look forward to keeping you up to date on, uh, on the development of the story. All right, great, thanks. <laughs>